Hi everybody, my name is Paula from The Real Polish Fanatic blog and jewelry by RPF. Thank you for stopping by my little corner of YouTube and spending a little bit of your day with me. I do appreciate you being here. Today we're going to talk about a new order I placed with Sassy Sauce Polish. Um, this is only my second order directly from her. I have a few other things from some of the collabs, uh, Polish Pickup or HHC or whatever she may be in that I purchased from. But the main reason I like to purchase from her direct is because on the inside of the boxes, she always makes a little note for everybody saying hi, some little hearts, always makes me smile. But um, I have a small order from her today to show you. And so we'll just go ahead, turn the camera around and we will jump right in. All right, I will start with what is on my nails. I only, once again, have one hand painted and uh, I already messed this one, this finger up. But I have an old polish here. Um, as you may have seen in past videos, I've recently moved, so I'm still going through all of my polishes, making sure everything is where my spreadsheet says it is, make sure everything's accounted for, all that good stuff. So I have this old polish I found with, uh, while I was going through them last night. This is, I don't know if the brand is Big Universo or, I'm not sure. I think that maybe is the brand. And the name of the polish is Hydra Gerum. Hydra Gerum. I think that's how you say it. Um, and that means um, mercury in Latin. But I had to Google that to find that out. But this is what it's called. This is a polish from, I think, 2012. I bought it in a D stash in uh, 2017. So it's just a pretty, inside it looks a little more brown, outside it looks more uh, gray or silver. And then it has this, these little bitty, um, looks like color shifting uh, little twinkles in there, little shimmer bits that go maybe from like pink to gold. Very, very pretty. And um, on my, that's on my left hand. On my right hand, I just have two coats of Anchor and Hearts Mermaid Tears. I've been trying this out. This is my second time trying this as a base coat. So I just have two coats here on my right hand all by itself. So excuse that, only having one hand painted, but um, we're gonna jump in here and talk about some sassy sauce. So first up, I bought, um, this is a order I placed earlier in August. I bought the three piece August release and then I threw in one other one that I had on my list to buy. So up first is this beautiful bright pink. It's called Juicy. And this was described as a fuchsia jelly with a purple red shimmery glow. So you can see that in the bottle, very, very beautiful. And here it is on the swatch wheel. We're starting right here. This is one coat and this is two coats. You can see that second coat deepened up that color. Um, the first coat is pretty smooth, just a, maybe just a little bit of, of uh, streaking there, but not too bad. The second coat is very smooth, covered up any streaks that might have happened. We'll go in here and we'll do a third coat right here. And that does continue to deepen this color up. It is a jelly formula, so it's a little bit more translucent, but that makes it nice and squishy and juicy, just like the name implies. So here that is now in one coat and now three coats. Just a beautiful, beautiful bright pink with like, um, it says purple to red um, shimmer. So definitely see the red or the purple. And then I think the red, yeah, I think I can see both. I think I can see both those colors um, changing around there in that shimmer. But the shimmer is just sort of like in the background a little bit, just to add a little bit of pizzazz to it. Very, very pretty. And this one is juicy in one coat and now three coats. Beautiful. Up next is another polish from her August release. This one is called Razzy Lemon Cosmo. And this was described 
as a large particle shimmer that shifts gold, copper, pink, green, and fuchsia micro glitter. So here that is in the bottle. Let's see if I can get a little more light here on it. Here that is in the bottle. You can see the shifts. Very, very pretty. This is uh, for the most part, looks like to be in pretty much a clear base or a very light base. But here that is in one coat. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'll put a second coat here and then I'm gonna put one coat here over uh, two coats of Juicy and I'll put one coat here over black. So let's take a look at it first here on its own. We'll do a second coat. You can see all those little bitty fuchsia micro glitter. So pretty. And then here it is over two coats of Juicy. That just adds a ton of sparkle. And then I'll put one coat here over black just so we can see what that might look like. So let's take a closer look here. Here it is in two coats on its own. This is so shimmery. It has like this uh, pink, definitely see the pink shimmer. Um, says gold, copper, pink, and green. So down at, um, at an angle, I see the green and I definitely see the pink and I do see it kind of going into like a, like a golden coppery kind of color, but mostly it's pink to my eye and green down at um, a, a severe angle like this. And here it is, one coat over two coats of Juicy that just adds a bunch of shimmer to that beautiful jelly polish, a more noticeable shimmer than what it had. And then here it is over one coat over black. And that is really, really beautiful. Here I can totally see the coppery um, gold down on the very edges of the nail. You can see that. And there's just a lot of like pinky purple. Let's see what else we can see. That's very shifty. It's very, very pretty over black. It's very pretty on its own, and it's very pretty over the pink. It's This is a very, um, uh, very pretty polish that would be look great over just so many different colors. So here is Razzie Lemon Cosmo in two coats on its own, one coat over Juicy and one coat over black. I don't know, did I show you this one? I don't remember if I showed you Juicy here. So there's Juicy, one coat on its own and three coats on its own. Up next is an older polish from the website. This wasn't from the August release, but it is still available on her website. And this one is called, oh, wait, what does this say? Oh, this was a Polish and Beauty Expo exclusive from this summer, from July. So this is called Fierce Mojo. And look at that in the bottle. It is a uh, magnetic, tells you up at the top. This one was described as a multi-chrome magnetic, copper, pink, golden green when magnetized. Oh, let me start over. A multi-chrome magnetic, copper, pink, golden green. When magnetized, it pulls a golden pink cat eye and leaves a purple background. So here it is in the bottle. Very, very pretty. And here that one is on the swatch wheel. Right here, it's one coat and two coats. Both of these are unmagnetized. It's very pretty on its own, even if you don't wanna magnetize it. It's, it's very shifty and very pretty, just all on its own. But let's go ahead and see. This is a big swatch wheel. Let me see if I can do this. Maybe like this. So this is now gonna be a 
third coat and we're gonna get the magnetization going here. There that is being magnetized. You can see that just brings out that deep purple base and then that like coppery pink magnet line there. Or she called it golden pink. It looks a little coppery pink to me. That's very pretty. It's very pretty on its own, unmagnetized, and it's just a very different look and very pretty magnetized as well. I think I'm going to try and let's try and do this in the velvet. I'm going to try this one on my index finger here on my right hand. Let's see. This is a magnet from SJ3 Designs, 3D printing company. I have a whole video showcasing this magnet along with the 30 pound pole horseshoe magnet. If you like horseshoe magnets, you could check out that video. So what the horseshoe magnet does is it brings all that magnetic pigment right up to the top of the nail. So you can see it just sort of gives it like a wash of the magnetic. So you can see it all right there. But then as you turn your hand, it kind of disappears. I say this is kind of like a hide and seek magnetic look. There it is just in one coat with that velvet look. I just love that. I love this look. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat here. Let's see. Let that be in the horseshoe magnet. I always turn my finger back and forth. I always say, I don't know if that's necessary or not, but I just wanna get like all the side walls, and the front and the back, everything. Oh, there it is. In two coats with the velvet look. This is beautiful in the velvet look. It has that beautiful kind of pink shimmer when you can see the magnetic. And then it just sort of disappears into like a dark purple. And you turn your finger and bam, there it is. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I have touched this one here, so it's a little messed up down here at the bottom. So just please ignore that. But here is Fierce Mojo in one coat unmagnetized and three coats with that third coat magnetized. And I can't show it all to you at once, but here it is with the velvet look too. I love that with the velvet look, beautiful. All right, the last polish I have to show you is another one from the August release. This is called Stir the Pot, and it was described as a dirty violet jelly with crazy shifting large particle shimmer and ghost flakes. This is beautiful in the bottle, very shifty. And then you add in those flakes, it's kind of shifting ghost flakes in there. I hope you're seeing that in the camera. And let me get the bottle open with my wet finger. Here that one is. Right here, very pale violet purple. This is one coat. Here it is in two coats. Nice smooth formula. We'll go in here, put on our third coat. That deepens up that color even more, that base color. Adds in more shimmer, more of those pretty ghost flakes. Very 
very pretty. Here that is in one coat and now three coats. Look at the difference between one coat and three. It's so shimmery now and um, shifty and those ghost flakes, they kind of disappear at certain angles and then they reappear and it's very shifty. It's beautiful too. This was Stir the Pot in one coat and then three coats. So there we have it. Let's see what Stir the Pot would look like over, I'll put that over Juicy. I'm gonna put it over the one coat of Juicy. And let's see what this will look like. So that's deepening that, it's adding in that purple from Stir the Pot. So it makes it um, a different color purple. Here it is on its own in one coat and then three coats. And here it is one coat over that beautiful bright pink of Juicy. So you could definitely layer this over other things. Let's put it over the Fierce Mojo. This is uh, one coat of Fierce Mojo unmagnetized. So that gives it even a totally different look. So this is definitely one you could play with as a topper. That's beautiful too. I love, I like all of those combos. Here it is over the one coat of um, Juicy. Here it is over the one coat of uh, Fierce Mojo. That's Stir the Pot over Fierce Mojo. And here it is, one coat on its own, and then three coats on its own. Very beautiful, very versatile nail polish. And I don't remember if I gave you the bottle shot, so I'm gonna do it again. Stir the Pot in one coat and three. And here's that beautiful velvet. Love it. All right, um, let's go ahead and get the camera turned around. That's all I have to show you today, so we will uh, finish this up. All right, those are the four polishes I bought in August from Sassy Sauce. Super happy. All four of them are beautiful. They're versatile and um, just a very, very fun little um, purchase. Here they are, they go from there to there. So pretty, you can see, here's my velvet look. Fierce Mojo. All right, what'd you think? Um, uh, you can find Sassy Sauce at sassysaucepolish.com and her uh, Facebook group is Sassy Sauce Social. That's a hard one for me to say very fast. I'll link both those things down below in the description if you want to check her out, check out the uh, group, see what's coming up. And otherwise, I think that's all I have. Let me know in the comments if you have any uh, Sassy Sauce polishes, what you thought of these that I have. I would highly recommend any and all of these four. They're, they're beautiful. I'm very, very happy with this uh, purchase. So, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping in and spending a little bit of your day with me. I do appreciate you being here. If you like my videos, I would love if you would consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And thank you to those of you watching who already subscribe. I do really appreciate you. So I am just going to say goodbye for now.